Hello and welcome back to Griffin Indiana for what I think is episode 35. We... I can't even remember what we did in the last episode. It's been so long since I've been on this particular map because we've had Perbeck to record and we've had the Forest Challenge to record. Um, so it must have been about a week or so since I've actually recorded on this map. I think in the last episode we did the grass work, didn't we? So we did the grass work in here and we did the grass work of our small um, grass field over near the dairy. So I know what I know. One of the things we need to do is check on our animal welfare because I think some of the sheep will probably need feed. And I would imagine. Um, I'm just going to get a couple of bales anyway. I'm just hoping they're not um, they're not fully out. Let's quickly have a look. Um, right, they've got some. The pigs are alright at the minute. They're fully out. Brilliant. They're not. Right. By the look, just a quick glance there. It looks like we need to sell some as well. So we'll have to have a look at doing that. I think today's episode um, is probably going to be a bit of a tidy up episode, and we might even end up going into July, into July. Sorry, into August, out of July, because I haven't in this in-game month now. I don't think I've got anything left really to do. We've had a couple of last, a uh, couple of good episodes in the last. Uh, Sorry, a couple of good uh, months in the last few episodes. Just getting our our, dog, our little garden, getting another um, getting another greenhouse. All of which will just constantly generate us money, which is what we want. I think in the um, in the meantime of recording the last episode, and I thought that might get rid of one. And doing this, what do I might just let's just leave that there. It'll get used up quite quickly anyway. Yeah, in between the last episode and this one, um, I did do a bailing contract, which was up on where are we at? Up here. So that was done. I think there's still a couple of bales up there. I finished the contract, but there was still a couple of bales up there. So at some point, I'm going to have to go up and collect them. Uh, we made a decent, I think it was about 12 grand we got back for that and then whatever we'll have only got a small amount for the actual bales because like I said there's still some up on the field I'm going to have to get these moved I can't pick them up unfortunately but these are going to have to move as well I might do that now so sheep have got food where's the there it is I'm going to have to move the John Deere Get the John Deere out of the way, and then we might as well get some um, stack and done with that. We need to also sell whatever these are, these peppers. Yes, we need to get them up and sold. I think on that sell point, like I have on that sell point, on that generator, like I have with all the others, we've changed it to um, so it sells directly. Which is going to help us for now because we are getting quite busy on this uh, series now, aren't we? There's a, there's a lot happening considering where we've started from. Like literally with this small piece of um, land here. We're now fully busy every single month and we're on two day months as well. It's not even like when in Forest Challenge we're, um, we're still only on one day months. these moved I mean these we don't get the best price for these until November I think so we're still a few months away from that regarding our fields we're um, our two all we've got left at the minute sort of uh, in the ground the soybeans they don't start until about the harvest for them doesn't start until about September and I think runs for a couple of months so I can't even remember 
when we planted them. It might be, it might end up being October by then, the time they come about. So, there's no harvesting to do for the next couple of months, really. I'm going to have to move one of these. I'm sure one of these have just, well, that one's been knocked. I wonder if I can pick that one up. Yes. Just put that to the side. I don't. I think that one's been like that for ages, and it's just not. Um, it's not getting any more. On. This will be the last one I do. The others I'll just leave because you can see that pallet at the front isn't quite ready. So we might as well just leave. But I'm hoping to make quite a bit of money out of this because. Um, have we even sold any eggs yet? I don't think we have. Talking of eggs, do they have food? Nope. Oh, brilliant. See, it's like, it's a little things like this where, because we we are getting busy now, they're just not getting done. Not even sure we're going to need that wrapper anymore. Now that we've got the um, the ferment uh, the fermenter over our farm. The grass is going in there. Which will make it a hundred times easier. I do like Berlin, but for sort of efficiency and quickness, that fermenter is an absolute godsend. If you remember, we had two of them running on, um, on No Man's Land, didn't we? And we made so much money out of them. I mean, we had a couple of really big grass fields in the end, didn't we? On No Man's Land. There's one of our soybean fields there. I'm not sure how much we'll get off it. I mean, it looks quite big, doesn't it? But obviously you don't get a massive yield off soybeans anywhere. We'll have to have a look, see what's what used machinery there is. There's nothing we really sort of missing at the minute. It's not like I'm waiting for something to come in there. Or, um. There's something that we're really desperate for. Money-wise, I'm wanting to, um, I'm wanting to spend it on a field. 120 grand. I wonder if, um, I wonder if we're anywhere close. I'm, there was a couple of smaller fields, wasn't there? That was just over 100 grand. Because one thing, if we're anywhere near now, and there's a smaller field that still has a crop in it. That would be absolutely ideal. Spend the money, get the crop off. And then have it ready for next year. But it's just... It's going to be free money from the crop, isn't it? Whatever it is. As long as it's not potatoes. I mean, even sugar beet, we can... There's quite a, a cheap way of harvesting sugar beet. Although it's really slow. Um, Right. That's filled that... Let's um, let's quickly look on here. Right, some of the cheap fields. 131, 109. However, didn't have that, didn't that have cotton in it? I'm sure when I've been up, because we own this, remember the spinnery. I'm sure that had cotton in it. Um, let's whiz up there and have a look. Does have cotton in it, right? How could how can we cheaply do that? See if there's no, nothing in there. Bailer in horse box, right? I don't think there is a cheap way of doing cotton, is there? So the base game one is the cheapest harvester. I don't know if there's many any um, if there's any going to be in the mods, but. That'd be twenty-four grand. We probably all, we probably would get it done in an hour. It's just, are we going to get twenty-four grand's worth of cotton back off here? That's the thing. I mean, the other way of looking at it is, if we got some back off it, it's not like we'd be losing money because we'd be buying the land anyway. If you know what I mean. 
So, I mean, we could get that one. We could... We're a little bit off that one. I mean, that one. Not that one. That one. For 131. We're not too far away from that. Two, no, that's going to be expensive as well. Um, one of these was a decent price, wasn't it? 187. I thought it was cheaper than that. It's that one. 164. Right. I mean, that one is the one we could have now, isn't it? I don't think any of the others we could. I'd have to have a look. I mean, we've got time. When's cotton available? Right, cotton's still got another couple of months left. So, we've got plenty of time to think about it. Uh, it's not going to tell us. Ah, it'll tell us on here. No, it won't, because it hasn't got the... I was going to say, will it tell us if it's um, fully fertilised, but they don't do the... Let's just whiz back down to the farm. Let's tap through here. I know we don't know how we do this, but... Right, so we possibly will get that cotton farm. Let's, um, the cotton farm, the cotton field. Let's ditch that. Where's our trailer? Up there. So we're going to need to... We're going to need to move this one, the animal trailer. We can put the fox on. I expect this. Loading these, um, loading these peppers will be a lot quicker than it was when we've done it previously with the um, the little case tractor because that was an absolute nightmare, wasn't it? If you can remember. Let's jump out there. Oh, I'll have to switch on. Um, we'll get them moved with this. And if you remember that blue trailer there, it's a bit. Uh, it had issues, didn't it, when it hooked up the different machines. I don't know if it was the trailer, or whether it was just the Ford. <laughs> Brilliant. I thought that was just a bush. I don't think that little spindly tree would have stopped this tractor though. Right, hopefully this attaches alright. Spun around here. Ready to go out. Um, let's just check that I've got this on selling. Uh, yeah, selling. Yes. Right. Too wide. There we go. If we can do two at a time. I mean, I know we'll be able to lift two at a time, but can we do two at a time? That's the that's the issue. They don't have to be perfect. The only going. Literally just down the road, down there. Brilliant. I thought they were going to go all the way off there. Right. I mean, I can't do this without running over the sheep, can I? Be interesting to see if we can find some um, cheaper mods to do cotton harvesting. I mean, even if we just half that price, I said just, if we could half that um, leasing price. Do you know what? I don't even know why I'm saying that. We can't lease on this. Forget it. We cannot do that field. I forgot all about that. Just having recorded on Perbeck where we've got no restrictions whatsoever. 
to then coming on here. I forgot all about it. Oh, that one's funny. So yeah, that cotton field, I think it's just out of the question. We're just going to have to have a look at one of the others. But, I mean, at this time of year, unless it's a soybean field, I don't think we're going to get much anyway. You might, there might be a, I think canola you can still harvest. Come off. I mean, there was one, there was one or two for like 130, 160, wasn't there? We could maybe, if there was a another bailing contract or something, do that. It's a shame the fertilising contracts haven't started coming through yet because. We can fertilise really quickly. Um, and it's decent. A decent payout, isn't it, for them? Let's get a little bit straighter. He says it's not getting straight at all. It's our last two. And then we'll go and get them sold. With st stuff like this, with the peppers, well, with nearly all the produce, um, Cucumbers, the, even the tomatoes, strawberries. There is different prices, however, and they do fluctuate quite often. But there's not a big gap between them. You're not really missing out if you don't go for the best price. That's um, partly why I've ended up just selling straight from the. Uh, come on, we spun around. We've just selling straight from the greenhouse because. We're not really missing out on anything. Right, let's just obviously it didn't want to sit on top, so I wonder how much we will get. I, it won't be much. I think we've took more than this previously and only got like couple of grand for it so right now it is the last one this back over here. And we'll go and get these sold. Let's drop them first though. I don't think we've got, in fact I'm pretty sure, let's get in the road. Eh? I'm pretty sure we don't have any pigs to sell at the minute. We've got we sold a load of pigs either last episode, not last episode, but the last in-game month, didn't we? I mean, those pigs are going to make us some some cash when we were selling them off. Um, yeah, they're going to be good then. Let's get these gone. Wow. I didn't expect that. I can't remember getting that much for them. We are still on... I haven't knocked it down, have I? Yeah, we're still on hard. Well, that was unexpected. I mean, I'm not complaining about it at all. <laughs> I'm over the moon with it. Um, right, we need to address the issues with the sheep. Because it's no good if they've stopped reproducing, because we just, we literally just give them money away, aren't we? Get this backed up here. 
which has always seemed like a good spot for it. There we go. Right. Let's see who's got too many. I think there might only be one. Basically, we always need 20, don't we? Um, spa 20 spaces in each one. It's going to tell us better like this. Uh, so, the, yeah, there's 50 in there. So it's them, isn't it? Right, it's 20 of them that need to go. Newborns. Because the others won't re reproduce while it's full, so... We might as well go get whatever. I don't, it won't be much. So we're going to have to do three loads. <coughs> Let's see what we get for nine. Like I said, it won't be much at all, but... It's something... It's better than just wasting, wasting it, because it's not like they're, I don't think they're producing wool. Right, in there. 900. Ah, oh, so we, we're getting 100 per lamb, which isn't too bad really, is it? come out with two grand for really we haven't done it's not cost us anything has it it's just free money really um, but it's again it's these type of things that we just need to keep on top of making sure that they don't hit capacity this might be a quicker way of doing it rather than backing up Now there will be two left. We might as well have a look at the other ones just to make sure that they don't have too many. Just why we've got extra space in the trailer. Is that going to hit the trigger? Yeah, it should do now. Right, there we go. So there's 30 left in that one. Get out and have a look. 30 in that one. We have 40 in that one. We could do with selling them 20 as well, couldn't we? How many is in this one? Um, right, there's 30 in that one, which is good. Uh, yeah. So we need another 20 gone from here. Right. So there's another 7 in. Right, well do. I will jump this little bit. All we're going to do is do these runs and sell the sheep. Right, we're back. We've done um, all the runs we need to do. So we've got 30, 30 animals left in each uh, paddock. Let's just park that up. If you can hear something, absolutely... Well, it'll probably sound like taps to yourself if you can hear it. There was like thunderstorm warnings all over the UK. And we've already had one this morning. And it looks like another one's coming. So it's just rain pelting against the window. Um, yeah, so we've done the runs. There's 30 animals in each. Um, the chickens, we're not bothered about doing that too. Let's just make sure of that. Um, 
let's just make sure that the pigs there isn't any that we can get rid of so 11 months three two are we, we're selling the pigs on six aren't we so it's going to be another few months until we sell them um however we get another 20 is that no we'll get another 40 sorry next month which will be good and then the month after that we'll get another 20 yeah they're doing great at the minute absolutely great right i think what we're gonna do because we don't have we've done the tidying up we need to do and i think that's what we'll just leave this episode as let's have a look to see what contracts they are because i might do a contract just after um after the episode uh i'm not gonna bother doing that canola one where's field 17 that must be quite a small one because you didn't get much for the contract there it is there ah but it's an expensive bit of land because it's got that and it's got this shed on as well so no bother what did we say was in the others so nothing in that one i uh, sorry nothing in that one that we could afford uh we know we've got cotton in that one maybe that's a bit better one to look at so there's something in there waiting to grow 187 164 what's in there Is that going to be saw them? Oh, right. How much is that one? 160 odd. Yeah. Right. We're not that far away from that, are we? How can we get that much money? How can we get that much money? What's um? We have wool. I mean, we have eggs, but just over a thousand, one thousand three hundred in a couple of months. I mean, we're well down at the minute, aren't we? Um, but if it was to get that bit of land, we could do that. We could do a seven. We could do a seven grand contract. Wool. Wool's well down as well. I don't want to just. I don't want to just sell it if um, we're not going to get it. But if we've potentially got enough money to go and get that field. Then it might be worth it. I mean, sorghum starts. What I don't want to do, I don't want to go into the next day and not have it. Right, what I'm going to do, I am going to go, I'm just going to sell what we've got. Um, see how close we can get to that 164 and then maybe do a contract in between. I'm not in the video now. I will come back once everything's sold. I'm going to load it all up. Go and sell it. Come back, see how close we are. Right, this is effectively pretty much everything we have. There was a couple of, like over there you can see, there's just two stacks of wool on there. So we've got 6,814 uh, litres of wool. And we've got 1,200, sorry, 12,941 litres of eggs. I've looked. The farmer's market's pretty much the best place for both. So there is... The spinnery was a slightly better, but obviously we own the spinnery and we won't get money straight out of that. Oh, we've got a couple of lots of fabric up there, haven't we? Um, do I sell on here for the farmer's market? Yeah, we've got some fabric we could possibly go and sell and all. Let's see how much we get for this. We're gonna get anywhere near 160. No. Um. Are we gonna get 150? Oh. Oh, that went on for a little bit longer than I thought. My 20 grand there. 20 grand. Fabric. How much are we gonna get for fabric? Three grand. That's a 
thousand pound under, or thousand dollars under. Uh, is our silage ready? Uh, we don't have much silage. I mean, the price for we do have a lot of silage saved up. Um, it's all in bales, isn't it? But you're looking at what forty, forty dollars per lot. It's literally at rock bottom, isn't it? The thing that I'm thinking, I don't mind taking a bit of a hit on our produce because the crop that we get off here is going to make up for that. So I'm not that fussed about that. The fabric I don't want to sell. The silage I might. Right, I can't think what else we have that we don't want anymore. I mean, something that we do, we could sell the Ford. We're not really gonna be using that Ford that much now. It makes us feel sick wanting to sell it. Right. Let's go and get that. Obviously the Ford's got an absolute chocker tank of fuel. I can't remember when we actually last used it. Um, I mean, we do use it. I just, like I said, I haven't been on the series for a while. So, it said we get, we're going to get 13 grand back. We'll probably get a little bit more with us taking it to the sell point. The reason we're not going to use this now, we've got 135. That's 100 the smaller jobs we've got the case for the bigger jobs we've got the 170 horsepower of the Massey we'll just use, we'll have to use that a little bit more um, for those bigger jobs and for the carton which I don't mind I mean how many hours has it got on 53 53.4 I'd love to see how many hours it had when we first bought it because we've used this tractor a hell of a lot like a hell of a lot, haven't we? It's a shame, but bye bye, Ford. Is it worth repairing it? It is, isn't it? So we're going to get 18 grand back, 18, well, nearly 19. Right, 166. Just about ready to go. It's got sorghum in it. It's costing us 164, 160. Let's buy that. Um, if by magic, we're here. That wasn't totally just um, sort of tapping on. I'm jumping to a location as well because it turns out it was near absolutely nowhere. Um, so it was quite a long walk. This is our field. It's got sorghum in. We expect to be able to start harvesting from the next episode. I mean, if you look at it. We've actually done a contracting heap, if I remember, right at the beginning of the um, of the series. Doing a contracting here, which I can't remember if it was sown or if it was a... It might have been a sown contract and then a fertilising contract. But we did the fertilising one with that tiny sprayer. I think we remember. Um, so yeah, this is now ours. It's pr compared to anything else we've got. So that's... Uh, I mean... Look at that. That's probably our biggest field at the minute, but remember that, only that bit's the field. It might even be the same size of them two. And if you compare that with that... Yeah, we're definitely upgrading. I know it's cost us a lot of money, but we need to do it. And I've been talking about it for loads and loads of... Uh, the well, the last recurring episodes of just we need to be upgrading to a big field to start getting more money off it, and that's what we've done. We might we might find that when we come to do some um, 
so on. Fertilising we're going to be fine with. Sowing it, I'm not so sure. Um, harvesting will be fine. I just think that some of our equipment might need to be upgraded as well. So, problems we can think about in another episode. But for now, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again in the next one. PlayStation.